In this video, I'm going to explain the science behind why popular breakfast foods that we eat are so unhealthy for our eyes and our vision. And stick around until the end of the video, because I'll also discuss some healthier alternatives that you can eat and still feel satisfied for your morning. By the way, I'm Dr. Michael Chua. I'm a board certified ophthalmologist and I make videos to help you see better, look better and feel better too. Okay, so let's first understand why some foods can be so harmful to our vision. Certain foods, particularly processed foods with lots of added sugar, can cause the levels of glucose in the blood to rise. These high levels of sugar in the blood can hurt the tiny blood vessels in our retinas. These blood vessels are vital for helping us see things clearly, but when sugar levels get too high, we begin to see damage in these vessels. The trouble begins when these excess sugar molecules in the bloodstream link up with the proteins in our blood vessels. This process, called glycation, makes blood vessels stiff and weak. And as our blood vessels lose their strength, they can't control blood flow properly. This can lead to a problem called diabetic retinopathy, where abnormal blood vessels start growing. To fix the poor blood flow, our eyes make a protein called vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, which promotes the growth of new blood vessels. But these new vessels are weak and friable. They tend to leak and bleed easily. Now here's where things get bad for our vision. The leaking blood and fluids cause the retina to swell up. Plus, the fragile new blood vessels can break, pouring blood into the vitreous or the clear jelly inside the eye. This not only blocks vision, but also harms the sensitive cells in the retina. As time goes on, all this damage builds up and it can cause vision to get worse and worse. If nothing is done about it, it can lead to blindness. Not only do high sugar levels cause damage to the retina or diabetic retinopathy, but they also cause an increased rate of cataracts and glaucoma. And I wasn't really aware of how harmful some of our breakfast foods were until I started wearing a continuous glucose monitor. Continuous glucose monitors are these small devices that you stick onto your skin, usually your arm. There's a sensor that goes underneath your skin and it gives you constant readings of your blood glucose. I have a family history of diabetes, so I sometimes use these glucose monitors to see if my blood sugar levels are okay. One thing I noticed when I first wore a glucose monitor was how high my blood sugar would spike after eating certain breakfast foods. Sometimes I would see my glucose skyrocket to the 180s or 200s. And so these continuous glucose monitors have been super helpful in making me more aware of how dangerous some breakfast foods can be in terms of trying to maintain regular blood sugar levels. Okay, so let's discuss the foods. Number one is breakfast cereal. Breakfast cereals, despite their health claims, can wreak havoc on your blood sugar. Most are highly processed, packed with refined grains, and infused with added sugars. Even if they boast whole grains, these cereals are often artificially fortified, which doesn't make them any healthier. This combination can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar, increasing the risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and eye diseases such as diabetic retinopathy. The unfortunate thing with breakfast cereals is that many of them are actually marketed as healthy, but are just processed grains with added sugar. In general, if a box is trying to convince you that the food inside of it is healthy, it probably isn't. The other problem with these breakfast cereals, particularly for our children, is that they come packaged in these colorful boxes with fun animals like a tiger or a toucan. Then you see TV or internet commercials targeted at children telling them how fun and tasty their unhealthy breakfast cereals are. Obviously, these mascots were designed to make sugary cereals appeal more to children, and it makes it even more difficult as a parent to walk down the cereal aisle without your child trying to convince you that they need these sugary, crunchy snacks as a healthy start to their day. Our beloved pancakes and waffles with their fluffy texture and inviting appearance can be a menace to your blood sugar levels. The main ingredients in pancakes and waffles is refined flour, which can contribute to insulin resistance. What makes matters worse is the typical pancake syrup, laden with high fructose corn syrup, which can trigger inflammation and elevate the risk of chronic diseases like diabetes and eye conditions. Toast may seem like a harmless breakfast, but it's basically lacking any useful nutrients. Refined white bread is basically a foam created by a factory composed mostly of flour, sugar, and preservatives. There's a number that scientists and doctors use called the glycemic index. The glycemic index is a measure of how fast or slow certain foods can make our blood sugar go up after we eat them. Foods with a high glycemic index like sugary cereals or white bread make our blood sugar go up quickly. Believe it or not, the glycemic index of white bread is about 75, which is the same glycemic index as a bag of Skittles. So you might not know it, but eating white bread may be sending your blood sugar soaring first thing in the morning. Muffins, often mistaken for healthy options, are essentially small cakes masquerading as breakfast items. They're typically constructed from refined flour, vegetable oils, and sugar with minimal nutritional value. Their oversized portions only encourage overconsumption and the potential for diabetes and eye problems. Fruit juice. Fruit juice is marketed as a health elixir, but it can be deceiving. Many commercial fruit juices are loaded with added sugars or high fructose corn syrup. They're basically cans of soda, but marketed as a healthy start to your day. And in reality, they're increasing your risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and eye condition. Even 100% fruit juice, despite its natural origin, can result in rapid blood sugar spikes due to its absence of fiber. Sugary pastries are unfortunately some of my favorite breakfast foods. We're talking donuts, croissants, and cinnamon buns. The problem with these sweet treats, though, is that they have loads of added sugars that can raise your blood glucose. What's more, they often 
often come loaded with saturated fats, a known culprit in the realm of heart disease. Before we go on to the next breakfast foods to avoid, I wanted to tell you about my optimized newsletter. If you want science-backed tips on how to protect your vision and health delivered straight to your inbox, you can sign up for the optimized newsletter at michaelchuamd.com. Okay, back to the food. Sweetened non-fat yogurt may seem like a healthy choice, but it's often a sugar-laden trap. Some yogurts contain even more sugar than ice cream while lacking the satiating effects of healthy fats. Granola bars, marketed as convenient snacks, closely resemble candy bars in terms of their sugar content and potential health impacts. These bars have a bunch of added sugars that can negatively affect our blood sugar and insulin levels, increasing the risk of diabetes and eye disorders. Their low protein and fiber content means that you'll probably still feel hungry even after eating a couple of them. Smoothies, often perceived as a healthy choice, can also be deceivingly high in sugar. While they offer the allure of fruit and added nutrients, by the time you add in ingredients like juice, frozen yogurt, and sugary milk alternatives, your smoothie will have a nutritional content more like a Slurpee rather than a smoothie. To enjoy a healthier smoothie, opt for whole fruits, unsweetened milk, and limit the use of frozen yogurt or sorbet. By being mindful of your smoothie ingredients, you can better manage your sugar intake and support your overall health. Okay, now that we covered some of the worst foods you can eat for your vision and blood sugar, let's go through some healthy alternatives. You'll notice that these foods are comprised of whole, real foods with minimal processing or added sugars. Hard-boiled eggs are one of my personal favorites. I always keep a jar of hard-boiled eggs handy in the fridge. When I'm in a hurry in the morning, I just grab two eggs and those keep me satisfied. I like to either sprinkle a little salt or soy sauce on them to make them taste even better. I usually just keep them in a Tupperware of diluted soy sauce so they're already seasoned by the time I eat them. Omelets are another great option. You can mix in some spinach and mushrooms into your omelet for a great and tasty breakfast. Another option I really like is any combination of avocados with eggs. You can either put an egg on top of some sliced avocados or smash up the avocados, or you can bake the egg and avocados together in a skillet. No matter how you do it, it's going to come out delicious and nutritious every time. Another great benefit of eggs is that they're densely packed with lutein and zeaxanthin, which are two nutrients that have been shown in several studies, such as the age-related eye disease study, to help prevent the progression of macular degeneration. Whole fruits are another option you can add to your breakfast. Yes, there are some fruits that are notorious for raising your blood sugar. Fruits like grapes, ripe mangoes, dates, and figs. But generally, whole fruits contain vitamin C, potassium, and fiber, which helps to block super quick absorption of sugar from your gut to your bloodstream. Some good options are apples, strawberries, and cantaloupe. So if you put the whole list together and zoom out, you probably notice a trend here. Let's summarize with a framework on how to optimize your breakfast for your vision and health. You want to avoid drinking sugar in the form of juice, sugary milk alternatives, and smoothies. And you want to avoid processed foods full of added sugar, things like sugary cereals and breakfast pastries, as well as foods that have lots of processed flour, like white bread or pancakes. And you want to try to replace them with whole foods, things like eggs, avocados, and whole fruit. This way, you can help to maintain your glucose levels to protect your eyes and your overall metabolic health. I know that sometimes it's not easy to make the switch. These processed, prepackaged foods are often more convenient and cheaper than the whole food alternatives, but I think your health is worth it. Okay, I hope this information was helpful to you. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to get future updates. And if you live in the Los Angeles, Orange County, or Inland Empire area, feel free to visit our website or give our phone number a call to make an appointment today. And if you made it this far into the video, that must mean that you're really interested in protecting your vision and health. You can check out some of the best ways to prevent glaucoma here. I'm Dr. Michael Chua with Pointing Hills Eye Care. See you next time.